Kia ora, Chrissy back again and we're going to get into the next episode of Breaking Bad. So the last time on Breaking Bad we had a very uh, tense episode between uh, Jesse and Walter, Walter uh, and Skylar and Walter Jr. and Jesse and everyone <laughs> <laughs> um, his parents, uh, the guy that towed his RV, um, a, a friend, just everyone was on tender hooks, everyone was stressed out and at the end of their ropes and just Walter's life and Jesse's life were completely just unravelling uh, and when they came together at the end to kind of, um, well, Jesse came to Walter for money and he was just he was just done uh, and Walter is pissed off because everything that's going on with uh, Skylar and Walter Jr but mainly Skylar and then to see uh, Jesse um, on his street you know especially after everything that I've gone through and he's told them not to come here uh, they had a big well I say a big brawl but you know they came to blows and um, it was awful to watch, it was awful to witness, um, even though we know as watchers that Walter is lying through his teeth to Skylar um, and I was getting pissed off that she wasn't buying it, <laughs> which is awful because I shouldn't be getting pissed off that she is buying it. Um, and then we see that she's smoking, but like I don't really care about that too much. Um, the girl is stressed out. But yeah, uh, Walter and Jesse kind of calm down. Uh, he's Walter's feeding him. Well, in the last episode, you know, they got a bit of breakfast. But um, where they go from here, I have no idea. Um, I guess we're going to find out though. So let's just get straight into the next episode of Breaking Bad. Let's do it. What is this? Okay, they're crossing. Oh, are they crossing a border? <gasps> Where the fuck is Hank? Uh oh. That's not a good thing. This looks like, um, cancer drugs. Skylar's not with him. We'll check back in two months, see how you responded, and decide our next move, if any. Uh, you'll start feeling better soon, more like yourself, and your hair should start to come back. Kind of gotten used to the old cue ball look. <laughs> no more confusion? Absolutely none. How are you two holding up? Fine. I mean, you know, we're busy, but we're good. It's not all good. We're not going through an insurer, is that correct? Yes, direct bill. I thought we had discussed a cash discount. It's included. Holy fuck. We do have a payment plan available, should you be interested. Congratulations. <sighs> Been around someone who smokes? The hospital bill came. Three days stay, 13,000 and counting. Fuck me. Is this something that uh, Gretchen and Elliot might cover? They will. I I'm sure they will. I'll handle it. 13,000. Cigarette packet. That's what she's been doing in there. Okay. 
What fucking idiot flushes a cigarette packet? Jesus Christ. Bring me up to speed on Tuco Salamanca. Dead. Okay, then. Well, thanks for stopping by. Okay. <laughs> I, th I think the fact that he killed this guy is kind of affecting him more than he's letting on. Uh, we keep hearing a name, uh, Heisenberg. Heisenberg? Yeah, I know. Still, somebody somewhere is cooking that big blue we keep finding. You, my friend, are a great wine. <laughs> Uh-oh. How does Albuquerque liaison Tri-State Border Interdiction Task Force sound? Like a mouthful? As of the first, I want you to split your time between here and El Paso. <gasps> Thank you, sir. Here's the man. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Yep. Fuck. Panic attack? Or anxiety attack? You can hear the the um, hydraulics in the car. It's like PTSD, kinda. On with a smile, put the mask back on. And he said, Give me a four. <laughs> oh, I hope he's getting help for that. I don't think so, though. Hey, you got some nerve coming back here. Balance for the uh, the tow, the repairs, the gate, the toilet. My word is my bond. Take it. What would you charge me? To store this here. Five hundred. Inside, padlocked, plus gate privileges. Month to month, cash up front. Inside. You selling? I should take it for nine G's. What about that one? Serious? <laughs> oh, it's a clunker. Oh, <laughs> well, it almost looks like a bell car. How much did did Walter give him? Like I'm just currently in between situations. Then I'm currently not renting. Come on, yo, can you please, please just help a brother out? I just need a chance. I will pay you every month, and I will pay you on time. I will not mess this up. Okay, I swear. Where is she from? I know her from somewhere. A hundred more a month. That's the cash price. Hey, you rock. Thank you. In addition to first and last, I want two more months. DBAA fee. What's DBAA? Don't be an asshole. Gotcha. I'll fill it in. Just sign your name. Which is what, by the way? Uh, Jesse Jackson. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, he's brewing his own beer. What are you doing? Beating off. What's it look like up there? You call in sick. The day after receiving a promotion, so you can play Oktoberfest in your man cave. Uh, everything's fine. I can take a day. Clearly, he's not talking to anybody about it. <laughs> Fuck. Isn't it like. I thought it was that if you killed someone, like while on duty, uh, like. You know, while, while on duty, in the line of fire, whatever. Um, you are meant to, like, see someone about it, like, internally, like a um, therapist or something. Isn't that not, is that not, or is that just something that was on TV? <laughs> I don't know. I think, you know, if you ended up, if you took someone's life um, in the field or, you know, on the job, that you would be given those kind of um you know those kind of options to help you deal with it the plan is we cook we can't even move what we cook i got profile now a da's up my ass then what do you suggest i've already lost more than i've made and i'm tired of dicking around out here want to know how much i've got left i've got nothing to show for all of this so it's right back to, to nothing now right back to where they started that leaves us with a total of two choices there's a third way. We got to be too calm. Yeah. That's, that was what I thought was going to happen. We control production and distribution. I am not willing to do that. Who said anything about you? I'm not comfortable bringing in unknown entities. Well, you don't get to vote. 
Because I sure as hell didn't find myself locked in a trunk with a gun to my head before your greedy old ass came along. He's not wrong. Do we do things my way this time? Or I walk? He's putting his foot down. More than I need you, Walt. Holy shit! Answer my cost, sir. He was gonna what's up, brother? What up with it, yo? Hey, Combo, good to see you. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> yo, bad shit. Oh, shape. God, he's one bit. All right, let me give you a virtual tour, okay? So, Plasma, it's gonna go right here. Plasma rocks it over LCD, yo. They got 3D coming out, like, any day now. Porn, guys, Jesus. Yo. <laughs> Side story, I went to Christmas dinner with... <laughs> with um my partner's brother once it wasn't christmas dinner sorry it was just a normal dinner with my partner's brother once and they um he bought a new like curved tv a huge curved tv and he wanted to show my brother uh, my brother he wanted to show my partner his brother and his dad so he turned it on and what does he show them 3d porn holy shit I front each of you an ounce. All right, you sell it for twenty five hundred. I keep the two. You keep the five. That's kind of like hopeful, bro. This is the best shiz ever. Who else is selling right now, huh? So bring out the product, yo. No, 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 not here. Blind drop. I will let you know when and where. Wow, he's really thought about this. It's the Paris of the Southwest. Please, it's Texas for God's sake. Right on the border of lawless Mexican hell. Well, I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going there. Apologize for you know perfectly well, Marie. The shoplifting, all of it. Why are you punishing me? I need my sister back. Come on, Marie. I'm sorry. Whether she means it or not, don't care. That's what she needed to hear. Was it scary? Hell yeah, it was freaking scary, you little punk. You know what it is. Cockroach comes out from under a fridge. What do you do? Stomp them down. What do you think it is that makes them who they are? Buddy, you might as well be asking me about the roaches. There's a whole world of them out there. He's terrified. <laughs> You're fucked, mate. really is just anyone and everyone that you just don't expect. I don't see this working out very well for those three. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Interesting. Oh, don't kill him. <gasps> Why am I saying don't kill the drug guy? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 15K. Help me understand the math, okay? $1,000 each. One pound. That's 16 ounces. $16,000. Not 15. My guys got held up by a couple junkies. Lost an ounce. Your guy got robbed. Or rather, you got robbed. Called breakage, okay? Let's <laughs> see the name of the episode. What happens when word gets out and it's open season on these clowns you've hired? Huh? It's true. You think Tuco had breakage? He broke bones. He broke the skull of anybody who tried to rip him off. What the hell do you want me to do? Huh? No. Is he just going to end up like a like a Tuco? Start breaking skulls for people that fuck him over? I can't see Jesse doing that. Walter, I probably could. <laughs> Where's Junior? Out. Out? Where? Mm, somewhere. Huh? I don't know. Yeah, I just thought you might have a clue where your son is. I'll tell you what, Walt. You want to know where he is? Ask him. Perhaps you might know something 
about this. Perhaps I don't, Walt. You're pregnant, for God's sake. Three and a half cigarettes is not going to do a thing. This is so unlike you. Oh, Why? Really? How would you know? Well, something's got to fucking change here. Is he actually hearing this or is he hallucinating, dreaming? Oh, thank God. Don't fucking sneak up on someone with a gun, for God's sake, Marie. Bill. You asked me what I want you to do. He's got the gun. I want you to handle it. Oh, fuck. He's gonna turn Jesse into a killer. Oh, thank God. He was the one that threw it away. Okay. Well, I really thought something could happen to him. Well, physically, I mean. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very worried about Hank, and he's he's clearly got PTSD from from dealing with um, uh, you know the whole thing with Tuco again. Don't they offer some kind of services to officers that um, kill people on the job to help them through things like this? Um, you know, and just saying, you know, oh, I'm fine, I'm all right, it's not an excuse to get out of it. Uh, and now that he knows that he's going to be spending his time between El Paso and uh, Albuquerque, so that's obviously giving him some um, anxiety. And when with anxiety comes problems. Um, what the hell uh, they're going to do about Skinny Pete, um, with the people that took the drugs from him, it looks like Walt wants him to kill kill them I don't know that's what it seems like to me and they really are going to end up I can just say that over the course of the next couple of seasons they're going to end up just as bad as um what Tuco was I just know it um and then you know there's still a lot of tension between Walter and Skylar I'm glad that the, the tension you know, the, the the big tension that was between Jesse and Walter has kind of simmered a bit but there is still that uh, tension between Walter and Skylar it's giving me it's giving me anxiety um, and it's almost as if she's kind of just not really caring about anything so much anymore I mean you know even uh, going so far as to not even knowing what her son's up to um, yeah but we're back to cooking again um, they've got a, a, I guess I've got a pretty good model going on you know what Jesse does anyway he has definitely become a vanilla Tuco at the moment. I'm sure he will rise in the ranks, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see what's gonna go from there. Um, we're gonna leave it there for today. I'm sorry, it's I kind of cut it so short. I've got to go pick up the um, kids from school. <laughs> um, so uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next week for more Breaking Bad. See ya.